Some of you noticed my costume from, from Trump or Treat last week. And I had a couple of y'all come up to me, actually more than a few of you, and you were like, isn't it a little interesting that the pastor's dressed up like a wizard? I have some aunts and uncles that would probably be rolling over in their graves, you know, like, oh my God, the pastor's dressed like a witch. <laughs> but I wasn't just any wizard, okay? I was a very specific wizard. I was Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. Now, again, y'all have to bear with me. I'm a huge nerd. But one of the reasons why I love those books so much is that the author of those books, his name was J.R.R. Tolkien. And he had this neat way of subtly weaving in his belief in Christ. He was a very devout Christian, but he would weave it into his writing. Today, before we go, I have this short little clip that I want to show you. It's literally 50 seconds long. I know some of y'all are getting hungry. I think it ties, though, perfectly to what Paul's message was to us today, to help people, to carry their burdens. So, let me give you some can context here. Gandalf, he's got a big long beard, right? You'll notice in the video. He was sent to help the people of the land defeat this very evil, very malicious character. Now, he mainly helped a group of people called halflings. And they were the smallest, weakest people that lived in this world. And he wanted them to rise up against this evil. And two of his best friends that he wanted to help the most were two short little guys named Bilbo Baggins and his nephew Frodo Baggins. And through their sacrifice and their determination, the whole world was saved. But I want you to listen to this little clip today and think about how it might be applying to your life. If you'll go ahead and dim the lights, Melanie, just hit four. Jesus is telling us to do. Y'all stay in the video. 